have something that I, you know, don't really do enough of is share my good times or like my good experiences and my happiness and my whatever because I mean, let's be honest here, the negativity in your life hurts you more. Well, I mean, happiness doesn't hurt you, but you get what I mean. Like negativity drags you down and you remember it and it's there and you fester in it and you just like crawl under a rock and fucking die because you just can't live with your life anymore for fucking everyday just fucking bullshit, right? Okay, so I've actually been having like a really fucking good week and wow, it's weird. It's like I'm not as excited to talk about the good things. How bizarre is that? Like I'm usually pretty like happy and excited, but I'm like, ha 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 ha, like I fucking hate life. Yeah, it's weird, right? Like I'm more excited about talking about like shit that makes me cry. Weird. Anyways, so actually had like the best like last couple of days. Like the week, the week has just been freaking great. I don't even know. Um, like I went to my class on Monday and I was kind of like panicking a bit, but it was good. Um, like the day I found out like, hey, guess what? I actually passed my fucking English class, which I honestly didn't think I was going to pass. Like it was like the adult dogwood thing. Um, so I passed that and I was like fucking like, I was ecstatic. Like I was like, holy shit, I passed it. And that's like insane because I mean, I dropped out in like grade nine and then went into like homeschooling and like did grade nine like three times. I don't even fucking know anymore. Like my life is just a wreck and I'm like, just... I just fucking passed my, like, you know, like, I graduated, like, I officially got there, like, I did it, I, wow, I'm so excited, like, that was actually pretty insane, like, most people would just be like, hey, fuck school, don't gonna, you know, but I, I was the one who chose to go back, like, I was like, shit, I failed grade nine, I'm gonna do it again, and then I was like, shit, I failed grade nine again, maybe I should, uh, yeah, let's not do that anymore, and then I went into homeschooling, and I finished that, and then I went to grade ten, and then, like, I don't know, I had to do, like, some business course to get, like, all my math and all that crap, and I did, like, the adult dog good things. The only thing I had to finish was my English. So, I found out I passed my English, and I was like, holy fuck, like, fucking, like, four years later, and I've graduated. So, that's fucking great. Like, I mean, I'm, like, two years, um, like, uh, late compared to everyone else who was in my normal classes. But, I did it, so I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like, seriously, who can say they've done that? Like, you know, because it's so ridiculed and it's so fucking, like, most people just give up because they don't want to, they're just like, fuck, I'm, I give up because people look at you and go, wow, you suck. And then you try harder and they still go, wow, you suck because you're not doing at the level everyone else is. And you're just like, wow, fucking get off my back because I'm trying to better myself. But they don't, I don't know, they throw you under the fucking bus. It's just ridiculous. But anyway, so I passed. That's fucking great. I'm super excited. I, Monday was good. It was fucking... Or Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday was good. Tuesday was good. Because we didn't have school Monday. Because Monday was like Easter Monday? I don't know. Whatever. And then... Okay, so and then Wednesday was actually like really good because I actually was able to go talk to some person about my practicum and like for my new like hairdressing, whatever. And so like that was actually pretty fucking cool. Like, it was, like, easy, good, I didn't have that much anxiety, I didn't, like, fucking freak out, I didn't cry, that was awesome, it was great, it was fucking wonderful. Um, and then Wednesday was, like, I, like, I don't even know, Wednesday was so random and bullshitty and funny, like, just, it was, like, the whole day was just great, it was wonderful. And then, which is funny, because it probably really well then, like, I had to talk to the counselors, my teacher thought I was crazy, she wouldn't let me, like, take clients, I don't even fucking know, the whole Wednesday was just wacky. But, like, funny from my point of view, because I was just like, you're really stupid, but whatever. I don't know, it was just weird. And, fuck, I think it was Wednesday? Or maybe it was Tuesday. Maybe it was Monday. I don't know. One of those days. Sometime during the week, right? Okay, so, me and my mom went in and we took um, the empties back to the, like, the, to the empty place, right? Where you take in, like, pop cans and whatever your soda bottles and shit, right? And it was, it was actually like, oh my god, like, it was so great. Like, I don't even know why it was such a good day. I mean, my mom was nice to me. I was like, hey, are you gonna come outside and help me put the cans in the truck? And she came out, and she did, and I was like, holy shit, like, this is a fucking miracle. Like, she was so nice, and I was, like, being really civil. Like, I wasn't being a little bitch, because she wasn't treating me like a little bitch, you, you know what I mean? Like, it was great. It was just, the whole day was great. And then we were, like, sorting the cans, and so we were at the place sorting the cans, right? And I was pulling off all the pop tabs. And, like, a huge issue is, um, like, small things that I get excited about. My mom is like, 
fuck that. None of that. And I just, it, you know, it hurts. It makes me want to cry. And it was just that day that we went and took the pop, like, you know, like the stuff back. Um, so I was collecting all like the monster tabs and the like colorful pretty tabs. So like any beer can tabs or um, rock stars or whatever, like the, the colorful ones or the ones that have like little bowl shapes in them or crowns or whatever. Like I just collect the tabs that look really pretty. Um, and bottle caps too, like I really like bottle caps with weird little like shapes on them because I think there's like some V for Vendetta ones. It's not actually what the beer is, but that's what I know the caps are. Or what I call them? I don't really... Hmm. Anyway, so I just collect them and my mom's usually like, haha, you don't need it. And then she'll like bitch at me and that makes me feel like crying because it makes me feel like literally everything that I love she hates and she just hates me and I'm a disappointment and it's, it's great. Um, but no, it was actually like, super cool. It was like, um... She was being so nice to me, and she was like, oh, here's your can. Here, take your tab off. And I was like, oh my god. Like, I was so excited. Like, I was like, oh my god, mom, you love me. And I was like, what is this? What is this lie? And I was like, ah! And then, like, it was so it was so great. Like, she was actually like, oh, here. Like, instead of, like, screaming at me to be like, hey, insert the cans. She was actually like, oh, here, take this can. And I was like, ah! Like, I was so excited. It was great. And then, <laughs> okay, so, and then, oh my god. And then, so... I was also like harassing, well I didn't, oh, oh my god, why would I say that? No, okay, so I was like, I was watching other people sort their cans and I'd be like, I'd like look over and I'd start getting like kind of sad and anxiety because I was like, oh my god, all their pretty tabs are just getting thrown away and I was like, look at them go. Look, bye bye, there they go. And so this one guy, he like sets up right beside us to start sorting his cans and there was like, he literally had like two flats of fucking monster cans or some shit and some like fucking... Ah, uh, fuck, they're not Arizonas, but they were, like, really cool. Like, not peace tea, but something like that. But they had black tabs, and I was, like, screaming, like, internally, because I was like, oh, my God. So I kind of just, like, stopped what I was doing, and I kind of, like, fidgeted a bit, and I was, like, super anxious, and, like, oh, my God, like, what am I doing with my life? And I was just like, hey. And he was like, what? And I was like, can, do you think that I can, um, can I have your tabs? And he was like, what the fuck? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, oh my God. Yes, and I was like super excited and I like ran over behind him and like went over there and I was like pulling off all the tabs and I was just like thanks and he, I don't even know like I was just so excited and then I can't remember he like said something to me like he kind of was like smirking and then I was like all excited and I was like wiggling and I was just ah! and like I do that a lot it's so bad it's so bad it's so terrible it's like ah! okay so then it was great because it was like I don't know I was so happy and then it was great because my mom was like giggling or whatever and like I don't know, he like said something and she's like, yeah, she uh, like collects all the monster tabs and I was like, hmm, it's monster tabs, I don't even know. And then he was, just, I don't even know, I was just like, I collect all the ones that are really pretty and like pretty colors or some shit like this. And I don't even know, I was like, they're all colorful and great. And he's like, no, you're colorful and great. And I was like, yeah, I was like so excited. I was literally, yeah, thanks old man, you're awesome, you fucking, oh, I love you. I was like, oh. It's great. And then, oh my god, and then, okay, so after I was kind of, like, all excited and wiggly or whatever, um, okay, so I, like, went back and I was, like, helping my mom, like, you know, and then the guy who, like, fucking works there, like, who kind of, like, not, like, owns it, I don't know what he does, he just stands behind the counter and, like, counts your cans and gives you money, right? Oh my god, so he fucking comes over and he's like, hey, you, and I was like, yeah, what? And I was like, what do I do? And he was just kind of like, you like the tabs or whatever, and I was like, yeah, and he's like, I have too many, and I was like, what? And he's like, I have too many, and I was like, um, okay, what's this, um, like, I was getting really, like, anxious, and I was like, what's this mean, um, <laughs> and he's like, do you want them, and I was kind of like, yes, because, like, it was kind of, like, really, honestly, it was, like, super hard to understand him, because he's, like, maybe Korean, I'm just gonna say Asian, because I fuck up a lot when it comes to that shit, but anyway, so basically, like, really super broken English, and I was like, hmm? Like, I was literally like, all right, what are you telling me? I don't understand. I don't know what to do. What's going on? And it wasn't just the fact that, I mean, like, I literally, that's how I work with just normal English-speaking people who can speak perfect fucking English. They'll come up to me and I'll be like, hmm? Like, what's going on? Like, hmm? What are you trying to tell me? I don't, I don't understand. Tell me. And like, yeah, like, you have to spell it out for me because I'm a fucking idiot. So I was literally like, what's going on? And I was like, wait, is he going to give me the things? Is he? I don't know. I don't know. Oh my gosh, what? And then I went over there and he, like, fucking hands me this fucking can and like okay so it's like full of like even the clear or not the clear ones but the, like the silver ones but I thought that I was just like I was like you know what that's fucking great I don't know what I'm gonna do with them maybe sort them out maybe get rid of the clear ones or not fucking clear ones they're just your average everyday silver 
tabs. Anyways, but super excited because holy shit, he like gave me this whole can of fucking pop can tabs. And I was just like, oh my fuck. Like I was just like, oh shit, today has been great. Like some guy was so nice to me. Like he was just fucking great. And he was just like, whoa, yeah, you're collecting them? Here, have these. And I was like, ah. I was like screaming like I'm so excited and like I don't know my whole week has just been like really great like I walked down to fucking like Dairy Queen and got myself an ice cream even though I like panicked and almost ran in around in a circle and I like stuttered and the person was like what the fuck and I was like ah, ice cream can I have some and I was like ah and then I like paid I, yeah it was bad I was like like my hands were all sweaty and like oh it was bad but I, I was oh my god this whole week has just been so great like it's been so like I'm not even on like like yeah I'm not even like on my medication which is ridiculous. I mean, I'm supposed to take it, but I feel like it changes me in a really weird way where I'm like, this is fine. But I could literally like punch someone in the face and be like, this is fine. Like my medication is fucking weird. I don't, that's not okay. So I don't like that. So I'd rather be like slightly crazy with more of a logical mind sense than on medication where I'm not crazy, but I'm like more crazy than before. I don't know. It's really weird to explain my medication. So I don't even want to get into that. But seriously, I'm actually so really like happy. Like, ah, I don't even know why. Like, I'm just like, wow, I found out that I've like done most of my work. I'm not even that far behind. And I was like, like all fucking like sp spring break. I was like freaking out because I thought I was so behind on my work, but I'm really not. Like I'm actually doing better than half the kids in my class. And we have like 10 kids in my class and I'm like up there in the top three. So that's fucking great. Like, I don't even know. Like just this whole week has just been like super awesome. And like literally it just kind of started because I was just like hey fuck you like that like that's I woke up one day and like I don't even know I was just like no not today and I just got like really mad about being mad and I was like fuck that shit and then it was like mm. and then I was literally like hey guess what today's gonna rock and then I don't know it did and I was just like whoa and now I'm like super happy but I know that if something makes me really upset then it'll probably just change the whole like outcome of the rest of the, like the days that'll come you know so just like try and be happy no matter what it takes just fucking just hype yourself up just like start screaming and be like I'm gonna be happy and then guess what hey it changes your everything like whole week like ow I move my hands way too much and they hurt my eyeball anyways Basically, I have had like the greatest week ever and I don't even know like some guy was super nice to me Gave me all these pop tabs like Jesus Christ like I'm so happy. I'm gonna like make some goddamn like Fucking ink for myself um, I don't even know just watching YouTube and uh, fucking Netflix and all that shit. And it's been great. It's been just fucking wonderful. <laughs> oh My god, I'm so happy. Um I'm actually so apologeticizing, apologizing. Um, if any of you people actually decide to like sit through this and watch this shit, like this bullshitty bullshit for who fucking knows what reason you watch this. I mean, I put it on here because I figure I'll probably watch it eventually or maybe I won't and it'll just be there forever because why not? Because, you know, fuck it, whatever, just put it on there. Um, but if you actually kind of do watch this shit, basically... I mean, people are like, oh, just be happy, or uh, change your this, or that. But it's literally like, uh, okay, so no matter how hard you try, you can't because you're not in that mindset to begin with. Like, you're just, like, angry, and you're angry at the world, and you just can't. You just, you know, you're just upset, and you're sad, and it just takes over, and you drowned in it, and you can't get over it, and it sucks. Um, but even though, you know, like, you know what, like, I've noticed that even if I'm, like, in one of those moods where I'm just, like, fucking ready to jump off a fucking bridge or if I had a gun, I'd shoot myself in the head kind of, like, moods, it's literally, like, the only thing that I can do is just, like, start screaming and be, like, not fucking today! And I'm, like, really angry and I'm, like, why would I, I don't even know, like, you just have to fucking be, like, not today and just fucking, like, ah! And just, like, start screaming random shit or just do something really stupid or, like, um, just somehow snap yourself out of it. That's the only thing I can tell you. Like, and I know it's not as easy as everyone just goes, hey, just do the thing. No, like, I don't even know. Literally just do absolutely nothing to snap yourself out of it. As long as, like, you, I don't even know. Sometimes if I get in a really bad mood, I just, like, start, like, picking at my nails or, like, focus on something really weird or just do something really, like, mindless. But it kind of pulls me to the here and the now and it snaps me out of a mindset where I'm, like, super crazy. And some more, like, some times when I'm able to do that, it makes me, like, a lot happier. I don't know. It's really weird and hard to explain feelings and your mental whatever. But, um, just try. That's it. That's just, that's all. You know what? You're trying. I believe in you or some shit. Like, I don't even know you. Um, like, if you just are a random person watching this shit, just believe in yourself, you know? Like, you got this. Just fucking live just breathe just fucking scream do something okay 
You got this. You fucking got this shit, because you got it.